The red is a good- Yeah, I know! Stop talking to me like I'm stupid. I saw something shiny and I wanted it. First, okay? Oh, Gail, fuck off. You can die. Killing me is a waste of time. Fine. Here. I'm not fucking eating that. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat. I want to taste you. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's the stream, guys. Am I... My microphone is working. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Shut up. I'm not in the fucking humor for you just yet. Right, what's she saying? I ruined everything. What did I do? Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! Don't be naive. A hag was never gonna help you. She would have. I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. With hags, nothing is ever over. This was the best chance I had. For me and my baby. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. <laughs> we have withers. We do have withers. Seems like bringing people back from the dead is not an uncommon thing here. Don't sell yourself short. You can raise this child. I always wanted to be a mother. I... Just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. <laughs> oh. Right, anything worth robbing here? Letter from Ethel. Blotches of ink are splattered, spattered on this unfinished letter written in an uneven scrawl. Sister dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my red caps nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind, you know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. Letter two, Ethel. This letter is written in elegant cursive. Okay, so we have a favourite. Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the... Kyunter, like Kyunter, like... Is that like a phonetic Irish? Uh, and I've ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish with him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. Bitter divorce. The ever-seeing eye. What are these fucking things? Oh, hey. This is a fucking thingy that maybe she could... Lover's Avarice. All of these things have fucking mad names. I think I'd be silly not to take them, would I? Drink those. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Whoa! Rings out the bleeding wazoo. Give me that. Ooh, staff of crowns. Like the disease? What do these do? Makes me shit. <laughs> well, I mean, ray of sickness. Can somebody with a better brain than me... Am I actually using the things that Corellian, Corellian's Grace are giving me? I'm not wearing armor, am I? I've got a cloak or a fucking thing, whatever they're called. The bathrobe on. 50 torns? What? 50 torns what? No way for me to know. Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle. Ew. Spider. There she is. I should speak up. Come here, I found something for you. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. Why? The oh thought yeah. of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. I think it can. <laughs> Do we think? Is that what? Is that what the thing does? Ah, fuck! It's been for a what? penny. You can. 
Worst they can do is, well, kill her, I suppose. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. No, you, you use it. Wake okay, out, the strain behind you, Mason. Look at your little brother. <laughs> you stay out of trouble, you. Can I eat that? I'm hungry. <laughs> what do we think, gang? I'm gonna let you make the call so it's not my fault if it goes tits up. Do it. <sighs> it's a hag, don't do it. Don't fucking 50 50 me. <laughs> Shit. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. I'm curious. Fuck it. For the what? Bit. What's happening? Why is he still dead? What'd you fucking think? Look, it's a zomblor. It's, it's Connor. Look. You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. <laughs> what are you doing to him? I haven't done that and he's dead. Okay. Maybe it's not permanent. <laughs> I do want to blame it on Ethel. I'm going to say, look, I fucking told you. But this isn't what she promised. I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this. This is your husband, do you want him or not? <laughs> oh, God. Connor? Connor? <sighs> I don't even know if he's in there. He just said but yeah. he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Here's the wand, good luck. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? Uh. And thank you. I guess. Come on, love. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. Young love, huh? Can I talk to the fucking frog? Frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. What? Well, I'll just ask it what's wrong. No, I don't have me. Uh, give me guidance. Fuck off. I do want- I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> I have no fucking inspiration left. It shies away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. Who's a good froggy? Ribbit, he is. Battle! Um, hold on, I didn't. Why is he. What? I didn't want to fight him. I don't Time want to fight a frog. Again. Come here. Relax. Chill out. I don't want to have to kill. Can I non lethal? How do I turn that on again? Give him a bonk. You're gay. You're a What the hell? I guess I'm killing a frog, am I? Oh! What's wrong with your chicken? <laughs> Madness. Ah, oh, for fuck. Right, Gale is non lethal, so let's fall. Sick. It's for your own good, chicken. I'm gonna miss. I actually, I'm gonna miss. No. Okay. Right, I guess I'm not talking to fucking frogs anymore. Best to make camp. Yeah, fuck it. We just have a sleep. Fucking schnoosh. Oh wait! Uh oh, my my darling petal angel is gonna want to talk to me, isn't she? I want to taste you. Uh, Jesus, who did this? That's mad. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. <laughs> Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. He was all in the room when he explained this to me. Oh, three. 
Oh, do I can just chillax? Oh, here Clyde, we go again. You can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. Sigh dreamily at the fantasy. Oh, for fuck. Go for a walk. Your body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. My lord, jubilant day. I have found your vile self at last. <laughs> Skeleritas fell. Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> you can't murder if you're asleep. I murdered the girl in my sleep. <laughs> what in the hells do you mean you're my butler? Oh, one hell of a butler <laughs> the most unprincipled servant you could hope for unprincipled you have always uh, struggled to conduct yourself properly without me i found you following the stench of that bard <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog muck on the road did you cause me to kill her such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. What the fuck is this? What? You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. There will be no more barbarity. Death wants everything to do with you, good villain. Be true to yourself, my lord. Now, first of all, my first question is, Astarian, can you see this weird little guy? Or is am I going fucking nutso? The Deathstalker mantle, what the fuck? Once per turn when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in primeval darkness to become invisible for two turns. Oh, I could have fucking drank that and talked to the frog. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah, we'll wear it. What's up? If you want to keep your insides on the inside, don't cause any trouble. I hate getting spoken down to by somebody who is punt sized. I'll give it a shot. Oh. What's banging on this door? Hold on. A guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Oh, for fuck. Then a low moan. Someone something is having a bit of fun can i go two seconds without being put in a sexual scenario go away! i'm not going in there sorry i want nothing to do with that whoa hey seems like a good moment to talk. 